Hello, how's it going? So, I do a quick video vlog before I get to some work. Um, I am in the process of doing internship um, ap applications. The specific resumes and cover letters that strengthen certain internship um, application. Those are all a little different. You have some that are more pharmaceutical based, some are more, you know, they're all in different business areas, um, but they're all connected together through being data analysis or statistical analysis related um, in some way. And that's the exact internship that I'm looking for. And there are plenty, a good number here. It's great. Definitely a lot more here in this area of Boston and Rhode Island than there is in, back in Miami. So that's really good. And just to be frank, these this past week has been super tough um, and it's all sorts of little things like with my phone my phone has been a huge issue because there's this old Apple ID on there and I'm not able to download any apps and I don't I'm not sure if I'm able to uh, if I have to reset it or not so I'm not, I don't have all my contacts and there's just one thing after another just with this phone because I could go ahead and explain everything that's been involved. It's still not recovered yet, um, but hopefully it will be. Uh, so, yeah. So, just a bunch of waiting because that's how they verify that. Um, that. That this is stolen or something. But yeah, not to go into any more detail on that. Um, so, yeah, just one thing after another. And like with being able to eat meat, I can't eat meat here. So I have to go like to the supermarket and eat over there. And just have this hand injury, which I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, you know, it sucks as well. It's, you know, it is what it is, but it's more like everything, everything one after another my phone and like um, having to make it like a special trip just to go eat some meat and um, dealing, dealing with my own reactions and being in this new place and not let's say having a desk here but my plan is just to go downstairs and work there. But I don't know, just a lot, a lot, a lot of different things. A lot of unexpected um, problems, which it's like one after the other, you know. And. And it definitely pushes on some some deep emotional points of just frustration, like you, you like I started thinking things like um, like am I not supposed to be here? You know, everything is so difficult. It's like as if God or fate doesn't want me to be here. And of course, I don't 
believe in fate. I think that's stupid. But it's more of those thoughts and more of that emotional weight, which, you know, I've been, let's say, in that kind of mental state before. So it's more like that memory of that, of feeling that way, thinking that way, which I guess the emotion then would be despair, a real despair. And but within all this, in my days, I have been pushing for what is better. I have been writing about these emotional points, and I've been working through them. And you know, with this phone, I was trying to make things go faster, and that made it worse. But now I'm able to now push it back to get on track. So let's just say that you know, things got worse, me trying to make things, let's say, better. And then I just kept pushing again, then maybe it's back on track, who knows. That's kind of like how things feel like in general of me trying something and just getting something bad from that but then remembering just to breathe, try again, and maybe it's better. And yeah. So, so after this video then, I'm going to be going downstairs and working on a table and properly, you know, sitting in a good position because this is just, you know, on a bed, not a good spot to work and yeah. So definitely a lot of stuff and uh, definitely doing this video has helped me because you know, the words like despair and talking about this thought of, of you know, what if this isn't meant to be, it's not fate where everything is against me. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it feels like, it felt like that, I guess, it feels like that, but, and I don't believe in fate. And I take responsibility for everything that I create. Create. And yeah. I guess it could go on and on and on. <laughs> but uh Yeah, it's all in my head, I would say. And it's just gonna take some time. So going to create it and do it and make it happen. So thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye. Well, actually it'd be nice if I do some self-forgiveness out loud and record it. Uh, I forgive myself for accepting allowing myself to feel despair with one after the other of unfortunate incidents and circumstances that are are out of my control that were out of my control and it's just one after the other I forgive myself for accepting on myself to feel emotional feel powerless feel like I don't have control when there are several things happening that are out of my control and believe in some way that it's somehow life against me or fate against me or some conspiracy against me. Forgive myself for accepting on myself to believe or think that there is something against me or that life is against me or or something believes I shouldn't be here doing this. 
free of myself, except allow myself to not trust in my expression. Myself, who I am, how I enjoy being and approaching things, with a sense that I can do it, that I can succeed, that I will find a way, and that I enjoy people and enjoy life and want to create the best life possible for me and others and support others to achieve their goals and their dreams and we can all be better off together. That's who I am. And so with that spirit, uh, putting myself to live that spirit and approach the next task and the next objective, the next next goal, uh, one after the other, and just continue being me. Okay. So that's self-forgiveness, and thank you.